What's up guys, it's Intense Investor here coming at you again for another episode on my YouTube channel. Tonight I want to talk about Gala Games and the node that I've been running to make a passive income and how I've also been playing Townstar to make a little bit of an extra income on top of what the node's been paying me every day. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. Uh, I'm going to make the video short and sweet and try to explain everything the best I can. So let's get into it. So who was Gala Games founded by? I'll just call him Eric S. Because I'll probably butcher his last name. But uh, here on the Gala website, he pretty much said that I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think this was literally the next phase of the internet. Everything that touches ownership is going to be affected by what's happening here. Art and music and everything that has a digital life is going to be touched by this. Anything that you thought was digital, that you thought you owned but didn't really own, that's what's about to be revolutionized. So he has a really big belief in this. Um, Eric's also co-founder of Zynga Games. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have played like Words of Friends, uh, Farmville. Uh, really big titles. Um, that's why I think you probably are not going to go wrong by either investing and holding Gala coin, or if you were, if you already bought a node, uh, or you're running a node right now, and if you're playing these games, these play to earn games are really big right now. And each game you buy these NFTs, and you can place them like on the map. For instance, like Town Star, you can buy like a water tower NFT. You can place it on the map. It actually gives you benefit in the game, you know, to your crops and stuff like that. Plus, it rewards you in town coin every day if you play the game daily. And I'm going to go over that really briefly, just how that works. Uh, and I'm going to show you the town that I've got set up at the moment, more towards the end of the video. But I want to talk about Gala nodes first. Um, so when I bought my Gala node, it was about seventeen thousand uh, dollars. Um, now I, I'm pretty sure we're going to do a calculation here in a minute, but they're over 70,000. I do believe, um, you basically, you make an account, you go up here to my nodes. Uh, so you see, I got one online, I'm getting 300 rewards a day. And if you go over here to inventory, you go to gala, you can see the distribution rewards. I'm getting around 300 a day for the past couple distributions, which is pretty constant. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Gala price is about 47 cents. So that's a little bit under $150 a day. I think if you combine my earnings for Gala coin and uh, I mean Gala nodes with a Gala coin that it pays you and the Town Star coin, I'm probably making about $5,700 a month at the moment. Uh, when Gala coin was up around uh, 60 something cents and town coin was up around like two dollars you know I was making like seven to eight thousand dollars a month <laughs> which is pretty substantial I mean that's a pretty nice salary for a lot of people just off of the Gala games and that is not including any other investments that I have so that's pretty awesome and I keep accumulating my Gala coin. I don't trade it. I don't spend it because I do believe this coin is going to go to a couple dollars pretty easily. Uh, it's only like a couple billion dollar market cap at the moment. Uh, town star price is around 3000 in rank, but it's 75 cents. And you can see town star did get up to around over $2 at one point in time. And then we look at, uh, gala games here it's around 47 cents like i was just saying uh and it did have a pretty high peak there it actually got up to 70 cents that was the high point um but i do believe there's a bright future for gala games uh they just had the big gala verse where they had like big concerts you know they uh released a couple more games like the walking dead game that was one they released uh, you go to games right here. So they released Walking Dead Empire. Mirandus is going to be a huge, like, massive multiplayer uh, RPG game. Uh, Last of Expedition was one they recently released. Um, it's not where you can play it right now. If you can play it, you know, it'll have, like, play, like, Townstar. Uh, Fortified's a tower defense game. 
Echoes of the Empires, like the space strategy game. Spider Tanks is out. You can play it. A lot of people like it. It's like you get these spider tanks and they fight against each other. Uh, and you can you can build different ones and everything. Uh, Legacy, Last Expedition, like I was just saying. So Last Expedition, Legacy, The Walking Dead, those were all newly released games uh, during the Galaverse that just happened. It was a big event. People bought tickets to it. They went to it. Um, you know, a lot of big uh, crypto YouTubers were there. Uh, a lot of big names were involved with it. So, uh, we're going back to my node here. Like I said, I got one node running. There's 24,000 nodes online right now. The max number of nodes is going to be around 50,000 nodes that they're ever going to sell, um, ever. So I just did the calculation of how much a node would cost you. It's going to cost you $79,000 at the moment. It's 168,147 Gala coins and they're 47 cents a piece. That's what it would cost you. So quite a high entry to get in there now. I bought mine at 17,000. I still think it's a good investment because at some point in the future, you're going to be able to sell your Gala node as an nft um and the, the final price of the last node that's ever sold is going to be around a hundred thousand dollars so these nodes are probably eventually going to be selling for a lot more than a hundred thousand i mean so if you paid even eighty thousand you'll probably get your money back you'll be earning gala coin town coin uh something interesting is uh let's see here so I actually get distributions in town coin. I get like four town coin a day from the node. Most of the distribution I get from the node is in Gala coin is 300 coin a day is what I've been averaging the past week or so. It did dip down to like in the 270s or 280s and it came back up to 300. Uh, from playing the game, I get like 64 town star coins uh you can see the distribution rewards so uh you know if you want information on gala games i would definitely check out the discord channel um and one thing you need to keep in mind like for instance if you're playing town star uh you'll see this power level over here like i'm a level six right now but that is based on how much gala coin i'm holding in my account and you get one power level for every 5,000 Gala coin that you're holding. So every power level allows you to use one FT on the map, like when it comes to Town Star. So, well, let me rephrase that. You can place as many NFTs on the map as you want to, but each power level you get, you're going to earn tokens for that NFT. And that's each power level is based on holding 5,000 Gala coins. If that makes sense so you know like 30,000 gala coins that's around probably six levels or so I think it's taken into account how much town coin I got how much gala ethereum gala I got and then you got gala chain that's another thing uh, gala is going to be moving to their own blockchain eventually so you're not going to be using the eth version of gala which has the crazy gas fees they're going to be on their own chain but right now they still got it separated like Gala ETH and then Gala Gala Chain. So I did get this NFT they airdropped me. Um, it was this little uh, common body for Spider Tank. I have not played the game, but they did airdrop that one for free. I think it's worth like a couple hundred bucks. Uh, yeah, I got five water towers in the game that I'm using on town star, the Mr. Puddles, NFT express depot, uh, farm by and the crane by, I don't have those two. Um, you have to, you can build them by parts or you can find them already built and you can buy them. So I got these seven right here and I still think I need to go up another level before I can get tokens or town star tokens for having one of these six or seven on the map. I'm currently getting like 64 tokens from playing the game every day. So I think once I get to level seven, I'll be getting like in the 70 something token a day range, which ain't bad. I mean, I can play like 10 minutes or 
20 minutes and I can earn my uh, allotted town coin distribution for that day like pretty quickly. So it doesn't really take that long. Um, but let's hop over to the uh, Discord server. And if you go up, let's see, you know, if you go down, you'll see it's a really busy, busy Discord server. Um, you know, you got different, uh, different news you can look at. They got the Gala Gold, uh, the Sneak Peaks, you know, they, they put little sneak peeks on here. There's spider tanks. Um, it's really big. I mean, they have quite a workforce working for them at the moment to accomplish all this. And some of these games are actually really, really good games or addictive. Town Star is really addictive, actually. Like, you can play for an hour and it'll go by, like, so quick. But uh, they got one for Founders Nodes here. You know, people got nodes. They can talk about the nodes. Uh, where was it? Gold Announcements. So Gold Announcements is a good one. Um, so you can subscribe to Gala Gold. I think I paid like maybe 500 Gala or something to subscribe to it. But um, it also got me this free Express Depot NFT uh, for subscribing to Gala Gold. And it'll tell you like in your username up here where it says Intense Investor, it says Gold. Um, you know, so that's a cool little thing. They give you an NFT to use in the game, which can earn some town coin. So that's not bad. Uh, I didn't get in on this Vox thing. I think it had to do with uh, Mirandus. I, I did not get in on that. But uh, <clears throat> there's a lot going on. It's hard to keep up, even with Gala Games by itself. The gaming and the crypto is just totally blowing up. Um, and I work a job too during the day. So I only have in the evening to kind of catch up on things and do my crypto stuff. And by then it's time to go to bed and get up and go to work the next day. Hopefully someday I can just do this all the time. I won't have to work for another man. <laughs> that would be great. But uh, that's kind of where, where I'm at at the moment. So let's go into town star here you click on games you go down you click play this is how you enter like any of the games pretty much uh some of these have a launcher like mirandus uh you download the launcher uh spider tanks and you got town star the other ones have not really been released to play yet if you don't see like the play or the download launcher uh, and they're always, you know, advertising their nodes. So if you want to get one of those for 79,000, uh, I do got a link in the description if you're interested, but let's click play on town star and see what's up with it. So the game is loading. Sometimes it hangs up and you got to hit refresh. So I'm going to hit play now. And then you can see this is a little town that I've built right here. Uh, the little depot trucks waiting. It's got some rewards. So you click on the little truck to get rewards every day. The big thing for me that was hard was to keep the gas production up. So you see refinery making petroleum, then you got one making gas. But you got to have enough gas. If you run out of gas, like your town's just going to die. Cause then you won't have enough money to make anything either that's going to be able to make more gas and everybody just goes to sleep and goes back into their little house or business and that's it you got to start over but luckily i've gotten far enough ahead on this one to where i got it going pretty good um i'm making a lot of sugar and i'm making candy canes uh, I got a couple brewing right now. One's about to be done. I got nine right there, but candy canes are really expensive. So I can make a batch of 10 candy canes, sell those, and uh, I can pretty much make a thousand stars, which will give me my 64 town co coin every day just by making that one batch of candy canes. But it takes a while to make them. And you can do it with sugar too. Like sugar, yeah, it might take 10 or 12 times where you load your little truck up here and send it off to make enough money 
at enough points to where you can get your 64 town coin a day. And like I said, uh, remember I was telling you about these NFTs? These are my little water tank NFTs. I got five of them here. But at the time, I paid like $500 a piece for them. Now, I think you can get them for like maybe $1,500. They might be cheaper now since crypto's dipped a little bit. Um, where's the other one? This is the little Mr. Water Buggy guy. And then I got the Express Depot, which I got this Express Depot for getting a Gala Gold subscription. Like I said, if you're interested, click on the link. You can get Nagala Gold. Um, I got all that in the description. Um, I'll put all those links there if you're interested. But this is actually a fun game. Uh, I've had fun with it. I want to I wanna learn more about it. Uh, I'm getting to a point now where I'm starting to learn how it works a little better. And, you know, I'd like to make about 100 town coin a day. That way, if the price of town gets back up to a couple dollars, that'd be a pretty nice income every day. So, I might buy a few more water tanks. The, the simple little water tank here is a real easy and great NFT to just plop down on the mount. Plus, it helps feed your trees and your crops. It gives them water where you don't have to have this water guy. Or, this, or, or the farmers getting water out of the well to try to water the crops. So it works really good. So just remember, even if you got an NFT on the map, you still got to have your level, uh, you know, whatever, however many NFTs you're trying to earn off of, you still got to have 5,000 Gala coins per NFT to be able to make those town coin allotment every day. So if I didn't have any Gala coin, I wouldn't be able to get this 64 town coin. So that's why I just keep hodling my Gala games coin. And if I keep buying more NFTs, the amount of town coin I'm getting will just keep increasing. Um, you know, and they do these tournaments. There's 11 days left in the tournament. I'm like number 2,797. So I'm like way down. But, you know, I'm not playing to be like in the top 400, which I think if you're in the top 400, you get like an extra bonus or something they give you. I'm just trying to get my 64 town coin a day. And then when uh, I get to level seven, you know, and I got enough Gala coin to earn off my last NFT, I might look into buying another NFT or two. I might buy three more and then get a little bit more Gala coin. Uh, but I do think Gala is going to go up a lot. I really do. It's just there's so much potential with the games. Uh, the team behind it is just pretty awesome. From what I can tell, there's lots of YouTube videos. There's just a lot going on in the ecosystem. This Mirandus game looks like it's going to be very, very interesting. Uh, I wouldn't actually mind just playing it just for the fun. And not to mention you can make money with it. So... What's not to love with that, you know? Um, but that's pretty much it with the town star. It's pretty simple. You get this one little square of land. You build the town up. You plop your NFTs down. If you're holding Gala, you make uh, about 11 town coin per each NFT. I think there is some NFTs that might make like 20 or 30 Gala. But I haven't researched it enough to know which ones. Um, let's go to the store. So you go to the store. You click on Town Star. You can see like some of these NFTs are like 430,000 Town Star coin, like a legendary NFT. Uh, these solar panels, 251,000 uh, Town coin. That's a lot of money. Uh, a lot of these are sold out. Look at that. The little water tower sold out now. So I got five of these. If they're sold out here, you can go to uh, OpenSea.io and you can look for Townstar. Make sure it's got the blue check for a verified collection. Um, then you go down the water tower. You see there's some available here for 0.37 Ethereum. You can buy it now. Legendary water tower cost five Ethereum. Uh, and then Epic Water Towers eleven thousand Gala coins. 
That might not be too bad for an epic. I would just buy the little one because you still get like 11 town coins a day for just holding one of these. If you got 5,000 gala coin to go with it for your power level. So just keep that in mind. But usually you can find these on OpenSea if you don't see them in the actual uh, gala games store. But... That's really all I'm going to talk about today. Like I said, I got links in the description if you're interested in purchasing the Gala Games node or if you just want to play the game and sign up for the uh, for the gold, Gala Gold. Um, that's all I got for now. And uh, you guys have a good night. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. Shoot me an email. I try to respond to all of them. Sometimes I get a little busy. Um, I do appreciate all the support. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Check me out on Twitter. I'm quite active on Twitter. Quite active in the Telegram and the Discord also. Uh, the Discord is pretty new, but it's growing. There's over 100 people in there now. And the Telegram is now over 230 people. So all the social media is growing. Really happy with how things have went. And... Uh, like I said, thanks for the support, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.